Hi folks and welcome to today's video which is a comparison video. So I'm going to be comparing this leopard purse pet that came out last year and this Hello Kitty purse pet that has come out for Christmas this year. So I'm going to use both of these in projects. The leopard purse pet hasn't actually got the zip on or the strap on at the moment because I've part disassembled it. But I'll show you what it looked like when it was in its packaging and compare that with Hello Kitty. So this is what the purse pets looked like in their packaging. First, we've got the leopard purse pet that came out last year. And then we've got the Hello Kitty. And one thing that I only noticed when I looked back back at these in their packaging is that the Hello Kitty has got more interactions than the Leopard Purse Pet that came out last year. So the Leopard Purse Pet had 25 plus sounds and reactions and the Hello Kitty has 30 plus sounds and reactions and you can see here what the strap looked like on the bag and the zip before I took that off. So I'm going to go through the sounds that these two purse pets make and compare them but first of all I haven't noticed really any sort of more sounds with the Hello Kitty. It doesn't seem to have more sounds than the, no, the no, leopard. No. And you think that the five extra interactions are probably to do with the eyes. Oh, because it's got two eyelids and he can sort of squint at you as well as blink. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So whereas the leopard um, purse pet can just basically blink, the Hello Kitty can actually hold its eyes sort of half open. Mm. So, I'll just give you some examples of the sounds they make and how they compare with each other. Uh, that, that one gives a kiss if you hold the touch sensor. Whereas if you hold the touch sensor on this one... It, it does that. <laughs> Right. What is it, it? it goes, uh, if you um, just hold it for a short amount of time mm -hmm. than if you hold it for a long amount of time. There's not a great deal of difference. Is it a game or something? Or um, is it entering a different mode? It or? says it's, it's, it's making a wish. So I think it's got to be something to do with the animation. Oh, I see, right. The, you mean the cartoon? The, yeah. The kitty cartoon, yeah. yeah. It's a short press this time. shut its eyes fully on this one either. No, I, I think I saw that then, yeah. <laughs> Quite a range of noises then. I think this seems to have more noises. Notice that this one's a little less responsive and it's easy just to touch the touch sensor. Well, you can see it under the plastic.
but it's not noticeable that the Hello Kitty's got more reactions really, than no, the no, leopard isn't. one, no. is it? No. So, yeah, those are the sorts of things that they do when you've got them in this sort of normal mode. Mm. Is that if you just have your handbag over your shoulder and you're sort of walking around with it and you're in normal mode? Well, you just get into a different mode by pressing the button. Mm -hmm. So, if you press the button on this one, Um, now you can ask it a yes or no question. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Miss Leopard, will it snow at Christmas this year? Yeah. Oh. No, that's no surprise. Of course, Hello Kitty could have a different... Uh... Let's ask her. Yeah. So, put, it, agree. Put, put this in the uh, open mode. Hi, Kitty. Uh, will it snow on Christmas Day this year? They both agree that it will well, not snow mm. this year. Oh, Quite good. conclusive. Mm, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, they both got that uh, yes-no function. Okay, yes-no function, yeah. And then when in this mode, you can um, get the catwalk music going by pressing and holding. And then if you press this, you get... Ooh, uh, and a short press takes a photo. And this one, you can also get... Catwalk music. Catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> But this one, if you touch the head, shuts its eyes. Mm. And if you hold it down, it keeps its eyes, uh, it's supposed to keep its eyes closed. I found uh, the touch sense on this one less responsive than on yeah, this one for some just, reason. Yeah, I wonder if that's just that particular... Oh. Because it's, it's sort of fur, isn't it, rather yeah. than plastic, which... Uh... This is... Um, the cover on this is quite thin. It's sort of like... It's like fake suede, yeah. Fake suede, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really quite thin. Whereas the Hello Kitty one is uh, sort of fur fleece. Mm. And you've got this... Um, Hello Kitty bow in front of it as well, and I think it uh, makes it less responsive. Mm. Of course, the main difference with these is the eyes. Yeah, that's the big feature, isn't it? The eyes. Mm. It's a great idea to put eyes in a in a handbag. I, lo I love the idea <laughs> of having animatronics in a handbag. I mean, I'd like a wallet with animatronics. In it. <laughs> I am actually going to use these in other projects. Yeah, well, they're... I'm uh... going to have a Hello Kitty mm -hmm. Kubo. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Mm. So I'm going to make a cover for my Kubo in a Hello Kitty style and use the eyes and the bow of this mm, Hello sounds Kitty. Good. Sounds good. And what I've got planned for the leopard is something a bit different. There's this thing called Lolly the Leopard. Um, I've shown you, haven't I, Paul? Oh, is that, that's the one with the tongue, isn't it? That licks things up. Yeah. And it makes um, noises and its mouth opens. But the tongue mechanism, I think, is quite hilarious. Huh. And um, I'm thinking about combining that mouth and tongue mechanism oh, yeah. with these eyes. What in? I'm not quite sure. You have to make uh, something from scratch. Or... I mean, obviously, obviously, it's going to be a leopard. I mean, you need more than a pair of eyes and a tongue, don't you? <laughs> well, why? This only has eyes. So... Uh, well, but it is a handbag, though, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just show you, folks, um, a picture of a lolly the leopard. So there it is, being fed its treats with its tongue coming out. And it is quite hilarious, isn't it, Paul? Mm. It's by for real. That's a great idea. <laughs> the tongue business. Yeah, I really like it. I think you said the, the little treats you put seem to be magnetic. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it's almost sort of jump off the hand, don't they, onto the tongue. <laughs> yeah, but it's done so quickly, it's, uh, it, it really works well, yeah. Yeah, so that's Lonnie the Leopard by Varel. Mm. Um, it's currently, I've seen it somewhere for about £25, but I thought... Oh, it's been a good guy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so, I thought it's not worth buying, no. just, just for the mechanism, want, for the mouth. You'll want to buy it after Christmas then, won't you? If you just after yeah, the top it would be good to be able to get really cheap sort of second hand, mm -hmm. but we'll wait and see. That's in the future. Um, I'm not sure how I would make my leopard look, but I know the body on that one isn't up to much. It's just like this mm -hmm. stiff mm -hmm. sort of. You'd probably go for block. a pluck, plushy thing, wouldn't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, folks, those are the two projects that I've got in mind. For these two purse pets. Hope you enjoyed that comparison and I hope that you will join me for the two projects that I've got in mind. Yeah. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.